Yeah, and I think Brenda makes a great point just on, you know, the business the business models of these companies and, and playing into the narrative. And yes, Scott, I mean, these companies are hard to invest in in this stage of the cycle, right? So if I look at a shop or a Twilio that are both off 52% off their, I'm sorry, over 60% off their 52-week highs, and both have bounced tremendously this week. I think Shop's up 20%, Twilio's up 14%, and I own them both. And I, I like to see a little bit of a bump here, but I understand I've right-sized these positions, understanding that this cycle is going to be challenging for them, but I believe in them long-term. And I think that's kind of the Kathy Wood story, and you just need to understand, you know, how these, dip, how these types of companies, high beta names, perform in these types of environments. Right. Weiss, how, how do you deal with that kind of question, right? You can bet on the fund. You believe in the fundamentals. Right. But the environment just says to do something different. It's like what Ricky Sandler was saying. I mean, you can think that these companies are great, but the track of interest rates just makes these stocks not workable. This is the period that reminds me of, of 2000 when the Internet bubble burst. You had lots of companies with great fundamentals, and it was a moment in time. We're coming off a moment of time that we've never seen with zero interest rates, with an insatiable appetite for the next new thing. But what has to happen now is that you can't just be a fundamental analyst. You've also got to be a stock analyst, and that's where it gets tough. So you can look at a company, say, great fundamentals, they're growing, et cetera, et cetera. But as a stock, it's just not going to work. So I think you're smoking dope at this point if you think those stocks can go back to where they were, or even close to where they were because of a perfect situation that existed that got them to that point. I mean, and SPACs are, by the way, symptomatic of what we saw then. So you can't say that they'll go where they are unless you also believe SPACs go higher. And guess what? They're not either. And a lot of them won't exist. So I think move on with it. It was a moment in time. Great trade if you took advantage of it. Mm. Don't do any celebration because they're up 15 or 20 percent this week when they're still down quite a bit. Use it as an opportunity to get out. And that includes the Chinese stocks. The, the view hasn't changed that I've had. So I've been negative, as you know, and short off and on. I'm Baba from 250. Now people talking about, oh, I bought it this week and it's up 30 percent. I'm a hero. No, you're not. You're lucky. Get out now. So look, I'm not getting paid for the risk in this market. Yeah. <laughs> Russia, while the human tragedy is beyond anything we could even tolerate or even look at, they're a pimple in terms of the global economy. China's not that pimple. So if China... They, if they assist Russia, we don't know if they will or not, then that's going to be a whole different issue. And that upsets the entire global economy. Do you really think you're getting paid for that risk in this market right now? Okay. I say no. That's why I continue to be cautious.